All right, I'm in uh, Vinland Point, and um, this is the house we're gonna look at first, 1927 Regent. Um, I sold that house, a super nice lady that lives there, and I sold that house, and that's a cute family, and I know them, and I sold a house right at the end of the street. Um, frankly, I've sold a lot of houses in this neighborhood. It's a neighborhood I really love. Um, yes, a little cookie cutter. Houses are a wee bit close together. Um, backyards are not huge, but there is this big uh, grass area right across the street from you. So um, walking paths, nice sidewalks, little picnic gazebo. Uh, the neighborhood does stuff together. Um, basketball hoop and playground at the end there. Um, people take care of their houses. There's parking on the street, which is nice if you're entertaining. And I'm just gonna walk down here real quick. So you can see something, which is another thing I love for anybody with elementary school age kids. Literally, the elementary school is on the other side of that line of houses. And this neighborhood brilliantly put a walking path and it's a paved walking path that the kids all gather and walk on. Um, right there and that goes just behind this row of houses the elementary school is right there and that's a uh, Vinland Elementary School so we're gonna get in and take a look at this listing um, based on the age of the house I would say everything is going to be in original condition it would be unusual for any updates at this point so math problem for how old the roof is how old the furnace and water heater are this builder it was Quadrant Homes. They're now called Dry Point. Um, they always sided with uh, cement hardy board. We have uh, natural gas in this neighborhood. This neighborhood is on public sewer and public water, so no well, no septic. Um, body paint is in the gray family. This is definitely kind of a, a mocha colored uh, shingle. Probably a little fading on this shingle here because I can see the shingles up here a bit darker and this may take a lot of sun because this is facing west. Um, the trim paint looks great on the arbor. We've got a little moss on the roof that probably should, should be cleaned off. Um, the landscaping is fresh. Probably need a little paint here. Uh, the front porch is covered. And this all looks in good shape. All right, we're gonna head in. We enter onto the laminate flooring. Um, this floor plan had a variety of options in the front. So we have a big understair uh, coat closet. Um, there is a little bit of a drop zone right here, which is nice. Most of the time I see people put maybe a drop zone here. The builder's intent on this was to be more of a sitting area here, a dining room in this zone. When you built this house, you could have put the wall here. You could have made this a office in the front. You could have made that a half wall, a full wall, and so on. But uh, this one has the kind of formal spaces isolated to the front of the house. And then back behind this wall is the family room. This is a good sized family room. Um, the zone here, the builder intended to be like an eat-in kitchen space. So a breakfast table can go there. Sometimes I'll see people put their um, actual dining zone in this zone, and then up front it will be a completely different use. Some natural light in here. So it's a very gracious family room. So a large piece of furniture can fit here. Um, you have the TV niche uh, above the fireplace that is set up with a plug-in as well as um, what's called a Smurf tube. So there's a, a plated outlet that has a tube um, behind it here. That way you can drop all your cords into the wall and then they come out down here where this other plated outlet is. Um, kind of an instant mood on the fireplace. Uh, turn of the switch. This actually has a relatively flat uh, backyard. You do back to um, a neighbor on the other side. 
I think I actually sold that house right there as well. Um, looks like they've just planted some grass. I love um, this builder. They're really keen on drainage. So you have two nice sized yard drains here. Um, I'm pretty certain Xfinity comes to the neighborhood. I do see a satellite dish here. Typically I see that when the homeowner is from another state and they wanna watch their team's college uh, sports. The kitchen is, um, this was the base package with this espresso cabinet. Lots of cabinet space, a uh, big amount of uppers, uh, a lot of lower cabinets, a big island, and this is a slab granite. This looks like a trash drawer. Power in the island, which is always nice. And then a little bit of a recess so that you can push bar stools in underneath there. Um, electric stove, but there is gas to the neighborhood. And of course this house has gas. So um, possibly there's a gas line behind that stove. If not, it would be really easy to plumb that. Um, a small pantry cabinet and then a nice size walk-in pantry. Then here on the main floor, we have a powder room. So just a half bath area. And then we have um, the built-ins for the mud room and the garage. So it actually does look like they've been parking two cars here. And so it's a nice size Lexus, but I can see that another vehicle is parked here. So we have the two car garage. We have the water heater, natural gas, um, good overhead space, not a lot of storage outside of that. Um, garage door opener. And the furnace is gonna be in a closet upstairs. Okay, um, I would suggest that this is probably the original carpet. There's quite a traffic pattern worn um, in the traffic zone on the stairs. The paint actually looks in overall good shape, at least on the lower level. We'll see what we've got when we get up here. But I'm thinking that you may want to uh, replace the carpet before you move in or have it replaced. Big loft. People have loved this for um, a kid zone. So you've got a lot of space there. Nice little space here. I see people set this up with, you know, a little reading library or something. So let's see the kid bedrooms. Um, not gigantic, but this is a nice headboard wall here. A uh, good bit of space here for a dresser or here. Easily a queen could fit in this room and this room has its own walk-in closet. Um, it's not overly appointed, so it might be fun to do some nice built-ins here. Furnace, so that's natural gas. Um, much bigger room, so the second uh, guest room is longer, probably similar width. Um, definitely, again, the carpet is showing a lot of wear in this room. There's a little bit of uh, damage right here. It may just be that there was a piece of furniture there. Yeah, something was there. Uh, a couple of nail pops, not uncommon. And then this room has also a walk-in closet. Again, it's very lightly appointed, so I'd be really tempted to put some cool Ikea or California closet. Um, this bedroom, to me, needs some paint. I feel like they must have had a desk or electronics here because there's a lot of discoloration on the paint here. Okay, now we'll go to the other side of the hallway. Something I also like about this plan is there's not a lot of uh, common walls between um, the main master bedroom. So the hallway shared bath has a double vanity. Uh, vinyl. Tub shower combo. A little spot here for say a hamper and then a pony wall dividing the commode space. Uh, linen closet. Nice big laundry. So 
huge amount of space. Um, I've had clients that loved this as the craft zone. So they would tuck bar stools in here and kids glue and glitter and paint. No problem because we have a hard surface and we have vinyl. You could, you know, shelve the heck out of this or put in cabinets above. Um, I also have people that say they love this because it's where the dogs sleep or the cat food goes, etc. And then side by side washer and dryer fit here. And then finally, uh, the master is huge, so kind of endless space. Um, this is just a queen size air bed. You can see that there's just ton and ton of territory. This is the kind of room that if you wanted to put a Peloton bike in, you could. And then the other thing people love about this plan is that we have dual walk-ins. So again, this is kind of lightly appointed. And then you have the one on this side. So I think you could put some really cool built-ins and, and really utilize this space more. Rolled vinyl flooring, uh, same hard surfaces under mount sinks, lots of territory here. Um, we've got mismatched light bulbs in, the, in here, so the lighting might look a little funky. I think you could do a lot in here, keep kind of the base, and then change out the lighting and that would modernize it a bit. Linen closet, so that's nice and deep. Walk-in shower with a stool. Soaking tub, but not the type that takes up the entire bathroom, so that's kind of nice. And then a privacy door on the commode space.